Hi everybody, I'm Jen, um, as Jason said. I'm the content manager for opensource.com and um, I'm here to tell you how we're building the site to be a premier open uh, source storytelling platform. Um, so first I want to start out with um, just a little shot of our homepage and it was up a little bit ago so um, just to get an idea of what the site looks like if you haven't seen it before. Um, so a little bit of history, in 2010, opensource.com got started as a platform supported by Red Hat as a way to tell the stories of people all over the world who are using open source. So what does it mean to use open source? Um, a business might use open source software tools to get work done. Uh, government groups might use open data to create apps the public can use. Um, and um, scientific institutions might publish their research in the open. Um, so that the public can use that research and then also other researchers can um, build upon that research. Um, so open source can also be applied as a methodology in any field. And this is something that we call the open source way. Um, the open source way is these bullet points on this beautiful little sign here. Um, openness, transparency, collaboration, meritocracy, and rapid prototyping. Um, and so opensource.com is focused on telling the stories about people using open source software, but also open source beyond software. Um, an example of that is a story that we covered earlier this year um, about a group of um, a group creating designs for hand-like appendages made of 3D printed parts to be attached to an arm or wrist of someone who is missing a hand giving them the ability to grasp objects. The revolutionary thing about this innovation is that the design is free to download by anyone. So people all over the world are taking these designs and creating these hands, like this one in the picture, in their garage for their kids or their loved ones or their friends. Um, and so to me, you know, lives are truly being changed by something like open design. So at opensource.com, we ask ourselves, why do we tell these stories? I work with writers every day who share with us how open source is, um, or how they're using open source to do things differently. So whether we're talking about software to get work done, low cost hardware that allows a person or group to improve their life, or a methodology for operating a business or executing a project, open source is a better way to live and work. Um, so, we feel like we're doing something right at opensource.com. And um, I got started with opensource.com in the summer of 2012. And at that time, we were publishing two articles a day, and we were garnering over um, 122,000 page views a month. Um, today, we're publishing three to four articles a day, and we're getting over 400,000 page views a month. So. The reason that I brought that up is because I believe that the reason for our success is because um, we're doing an essential job of being a storyteller for our community. Um, I learned pretty quickly how much effort goes into finding quality stories, editing and publishing these stories, um, and it's really exciting work because I can see that it represents a real shift in business, government, education, healthcare, law, and other areas of life. We also strive to educate people outside of the open source community, people who don't know what open source is. Um, so our team focuses some of our efforts on information pages like what is open source and what is OpenStack. Um, another effort to educate people who may be new to open source is a series that we call Beginners to Open Source. Um, and we cover, we basically these are collections of articles by various um, authors on open source alternatives to proprietary tools, as well as how-to guides on getting started with um, o um, open source projects, as, as well as many other things um, for getting started. So another series for um, getting people involved is around open source conferences, like the All Things Open conference coming up. We contact and interview 10 to 20 people who are going to be speaking at the conference and um, they tell us a little bit about the work that they're currently working on. So this provides them with another platform and our readers with valuable information. Um, we have many more resources on the site, but I wanna talk a little bit about our community moderator program before I go. 
Um, these guys are volunteers. They are open source enthusiasts and they work in many different fields from libraries to academics to government. And some of them are here tonight as we uh, noticed them earlier and speaking at the conference. So our moderators have a minimum of one year commitment to support the growth and success of opensource.com. And they do that through authorship, content creation, and invaluable feedback. Um, we have a weekly call with them where we share issues, get their insight, and find out what they're working on. Long story short, they support and serve the site in a really big way. And we are ever thankful for their participation and effort to help us be the storytellers that we strive to be in the community. So thanks for listening. And if you want to get involved, um, here are some ways that you can do that. Thanks. <laughs>